all right akika 25 what do we have here this fresh cream looks so good so good What's up everybody, Nayland here at Nanitech Studio. So welcome. Today we are looking at new features in Akita 25. And is it worth the upgrade? So let's jump right in. Huh. Huh, new furnishing objects. Alright. Okay. Yeah. I think this is one of the areas that Akikad has lagged behind so much because I've been using Akikad since version 18 and the furniture did not change until recently in version 24. It's funny because, for example, the dining, the good old dining table, it would be the same dining table from version 18 and it would be taken to version 19 and called dining table 19 with no improvements whatsoever. Like, why? But now it's it's very good to see that the developers are now more than ever aware that part of what makes the experience in a 3D modeling software is the quality of its you know default objects and default furniture. So it would be interesting to take a look at some of these you know new objects around. It looks so good. Ah, next surface textures. Ah, okay. Did you notice that? Do you know that's that? Ah, right there, right there. Did you see that? That now in, in sections and elevations, we are going to be having this stuff. Some textures in the uncut elements and the cut elements. That's so cool. If you've watched one of my videos about design elevations and design sections, you'd probably know the workflow that we have been working with. We would just make a typical archetype section and then take things to the ground floor in order to put in the physical, these textures. And I even remember in one of the videos I was complaining, we can't tweak the color, but we don't have an, any option to add in the textures. And I'm like, Graphisoft, why? Not anymore. I would not be doing that again because now things are in built. It's right there, you know, uncut elements, how, you know, it's textures cut elements you can see that we have some textures there that's just a really cool one we are going to be exploring huh oh surface shadows as well and and the good thing is if you look at this image right right here you can see that this is rounded which would be almost impossible to achieve when you use a 2d image in the things we have been doing because it would definitely not be aware that this is rounded and it would look flat but right now this is going to be looking so good this guy is so good did you see that did you see that transition like a like it's so nice guy is so good ah that's another one right here. I have these, the stair in one of my recent projects. And I remember trying to do this with a railing tool and I ran into problems where the railing was going through the roof. I, I actually, I eventually, you know, discarded everything and decided to just use a good old column tool. And this is cool, huh? Symmetric, asymmetric. Huh? That would be nice as well. Yeah, there's one more shortcut for us here. We'll be able to select things in the floor plan. Shift F2, really cool. So for shortcuts enthusiasts, this is one more shortcut for you. Shift F2, please remember that to show things in 2D. And I feel like this feature is long overdue. It should have been here sooner. But anyway, better late than never. Ah, graphical overrides. So now in this drawing, the red is going to withstand fire much longer than the orange, and the orange is going to withstand fire much longer than the yellow. That's very useful information, you know. It's, it's good to know that graphic overrides is being, you know, shown in pretty good, interesting ways. And a new video is coming out soon on another way we can use graphic overrides, so... Be sure to check that out. It'd be very interesting to talk about renovation filters in that video. Mm -hmm. 
did I just make a trailer for a video that's upcoming? That's so cool. All right, okay. Ah, so it looks like we have something going on here. If you look at these options, huh? Ah, it looks like we could, we are going to be having more shapes with the opening stool. Yeah, that's one thing that I was disappointed when this opening stool was introduced, but you couldn't make a custom shape. I was wondering why, <laughs> but now it's pretty easy. You can make any custom shape. And, and what makes it interesting is unless the good old times where we used to use things like the MOF tool to, you know, to use solid element operations, you wouldn't, you know, document it. So right now you can document it. And of course, uh, people, most people don't even like solid element operations. It looks a bit more complicated for them. And I get it. Yeah. Is that Phi? Yeah, this is Phi. It's a, uh, I don't know. I wonder, are we going to be able to, to dimension with the diameter? Because we haven't been dimensioning with diameter. We've been dimensioning with radius since like forever. But that would be cool if we have the diameter measurement. Hmm, that's super cool. Yeah, structure analysis. Yeah. <coughs> structure engineers would love this. And, and now finally we have this accurate. Okay, calculations. Uh, quantity surveyors are going to use this. Ah. Ah, there we have it. So what are my thoughts? I think that it really has some nice things going on, but I'm not so much convinced that this should have been called 25, but not so major changes, to be honest. But for an enthusiast like me, two of my favorite things are going to work for me. Textures in elevation, and the openings too. Thank you so much for watching this one. Let me know in the comments which ones are your favorite features that you are looking forward to. And don't forget to also leave your wish list on Agicat 26 in the comments.